Hello, this is Ron back with another uh, video today. We have a, a, an unboxing uh, today. We have a, um, it's a, let's see, it's a charger. It's a, it's by a company called Tomat. T-O-M-A-T. -T. It's a Mavic Air 2 charger. Uh, and full disclosure, I received this for review. Um, I did not pay for it. Um, it's made in China. It comes in kind of a generic uh, looking box here with telling you it's for the Mavic Air 2. And some of the specs on the back of the box is the temperature for charging is 0 to 40 Celsius. Output is 13.2 volt, uh, 8 amp. Um, the USB output is 5 volt, 3A. The input is uh, AC 100, 240 volt, 50 60 hertz. Charging time is about 110 minutes, and uh, that's it for the specs on the box. Now I've I've cut the um, you know the top off here, so let's get into the you know the big unboxing. So I'll be right back. All right, um, one two three go. All right, uh, we're back with the uh, unboxing portion. So like I said, I've cut the uh, tape off here. I know mean, probably a million other things I'm going to cut, but there's the tape uh, pulled off. Okay. Here on the very top, we have our our charger. Uh, you know, a kind of a standard uh, U.S. plug with a standard. Uh, I don't know what you call that end there, but a lot of equipment has that same thing. So we have the, the cord, and uh, let's see here. Here we have more cords. Here um, we have. Uh, a, uh, I don't know what you call that, but um, you have, we have that thing. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a, there it looks like the uh, connector for the uh, Mavic Air 2 batteries. Uh, so we have one, two, three, and four. So we have four of these, so I'm assuming we could charge four batteries at the same time. All right. Looks like it's wedged in there pretty good here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom up so I can help push it uh, through. It's uh, I don't know if it's being fastened in there by tape or something, but uh, it doesn't want to come out. So let's uh, let's push it out. All right. So then we have the actual uh, device. There's the four plugs in the front to plug the four batteries in. Looks like it's two uh, USB-A type things there. Here's where you plug the cord in. And here is the uh, all the literature here. Uh, the company up there, uh, logo, I guess, for Mavic Air 2. So make sure you're doing the right drill. And there's all the specs that I uh, read you in the... Uh, you know, in the structure. There we go. There you got focused in. So um, I guess these little lights will indicate uh, when it's uh, charging and when it's fully charged. So um, yes. So uh, that is it in the box. We'll put the box to the side. You get some uh, a little brief little booklet here, or I hate they say booklet folded thing here. One side in Chinese, one side in English. So. Um, Let's see how they use the charger. The drone uh, battery charging interface. The maximum total charging current for four circuits is 8 amp, and maximum charging current for a single circuit is 2 amp. Uh, USB charging port can charge remote controller and other USB devices. Okay, so you can charge uh, up to four batteries and their remote controller for the Mavic Air 2. And then the charging status indicator light. Uh, lights are for four circuits of the battery charging interfaces with a red light. For charging and the green light for idle load or charging stop. Okay, so uh, red means charge and uh, green means uh, they're done. So um, with no further ado, um, let's kind of put this together a little bit. Uh, we have the little bread tie thing here. Uh, we're going to plug that in back here. Oh, up here. And, you know, you, it's a certain way it goes in. Just that way, and then uh, our four various uh, plugs go in here. So I only have three batteries. I got the fly more kits. So uh, I guess if you 
load up with a fourth battery, you're covered here. So, um, okay, I'm gonna pause this video for a second and I'm gonna get my, uh, you know, my Mavic here two out and we'll get, uh, you know, we'll get charging up here. Um, let's see here, I got, uh, here's the controller, which we can charge with this. Um, here's one battery two battery and see I, I actually have my my batteries labeled three two and one so uh, we can put this bag over here we don't need the drone for right now so I gotta get this plugged in here I gotta get this plugged into AC power here so uh, give me a second and I'll be right back all right uh, we're back uh, for the second half of this uh, uh, you know, uh, unboxing and uh, actually, um, you know, uh, demonstration of how to use the device here. Um, okay, so we have, uh, you know, two of the three batteries installed. So I'm going to show you how to, to do the uh, battery number uh, one here. So we want to take this, you want to unclamp it like that. It has like this, like just like a little cover. And uh, we want to um, line it up here uh, like so. Make sure it's put in there tight. So I'll get my hands out of the way. So there's, um, it, it's plugged in nice and tight now. And uh, you know, before we plug the cord in, we're gonna uh, use the controller here. So if anybody doesn't have the uh, Mavic Air 2 or doesn't have the Flymore kit, this is what you get with the Flymore kit. This is the uh, multi-charger. Um, you know, it could do three batteries at once, but uh, it actually doesn't do three batteries at once. It does them in order. It'll charge the battery that needs the least amount of charge first, and then the last, the third one will be the one that uh, needs the most charge. So this actually plugs in uh, here, uh, and it's it, it, it's uh, you know this is the same connector that I showed you on the battery here it connects into here from here. And then the other wire is a uh, USB-C to USB-A, which we're going to steal to use over here. And then uh, this is the charge cord here. So we're going to get all this out of the way. And we're going to get the remote over here. So on the remote here, we're going to uh, put the USB-C end in here. Get my hands out of the way. Okay. USB-C end in here. And then the USB-A into, the, uh, into the box here, which... I'll show you there. There's the two two USB A. So we'll put it on the bottom one. Okay. So I'm going to turn that kind of towards towards you good folk out there. And we're going to batteries here. And now we're going to plug this into the power, which is over here. All right. So now we have uh, we should have power. There we go. You can see the. Uh, the lights now the the green one on the uh on on my right is um the indicate that you know you have you plugged it in the wall and the other three uh lights are um uh, indicating that those three batteries are charged actually I, I take that back that green light indicates that i don't have something anything plugged in the fourth one so things will be done when they're green so of course they don't have a battery for that one it's already uh, done if that makes any sense so you get no indicator that the um, remote is charging but you can see the lights blinking there so um, okay the next test will be how long we okay, can uh, I'm going to start a timer on my watch here which I've you know already lost a few seconds but that's okay okay we started a timer and we'll remember to add like a minute on to it so we're going to see how long it takes uh, to do this but the good news is um, Try to stand these up so you can see them. The good news is all three batteries are charged at the same time. If I was using the uh, the charging hub that came with the uh, the Mavic Air to only the again the battery that was the most charged would be charging right now. We would have the green lights going on. The other ones, nothing would be happening at all. So uh, that is the benefit of. Uh, you know, this, this Tom Matt charger, if I'm saying it correctly, that you don't have to, it won't take nearly as long as it would um, with the DJI charger because they're all getting it done at the same time. Now, I'm say, saying that in theory, we haven't actually timed it out yet. Maybe this will, 
maybe this will still be going on hours from now and it won't speed it up so that's what we will find out with our test results here so i'm going to stop the video now and uh, you know i'm going to come back with you when everything's all charged up and uh, we have a time so um you know said so don't go anywhere the best is yet to come okay uh the charging is all done and here are the results uh the transmitter charged up in about 25 minutes um i don't know exactly you know it was uh, maybe had two lights on you know on the panel here uh so it, it's a 25 minutes or less and the batteries um it, it was an, an hour and uh, 57 minutes and all three batteries were charged the middle one charged in about an hour's time and then the other two um this one maybe finished five minutes before this one did you know, again, it was one, 157 total. So um, that's much better than the um, DJI uh, multi-charger that comes with the um, flyboard kit uh, to charge three batteries from, um, we'll say under 50%. Uh, it would take you maybe three or four hours to get them all done. Where this again, this cut that, this cut that time in in, in half. So, um, and when when it was done charging, the uh, the charger it was a little warm, but it didn't heat up. It wasn't like you know un untouchably uh, hot. It was just a little bit warm, and uh, so that's good. You know, uh, you hate uh, a, a charger to get like almost like basically so hot you can't touch it, and, and that did not happen here. So uh, I'm I'm pleased, you know, with the. Uh, you know with the results of the testing and uh and i will be right back with the uh, conclusions um so th that is my um unboxing setup and test of the tom matt mavic air 2 charger um so far uh, I'm, I'm very happy you know with its performance uh it uh, is much faster getting your three batteries recharged and your controller so you get back up in the air again and I uh, get some more flights in and uh, the charger didn't seem to heat up it seemed to stay at a nice um, you know uh, it, was, it was a little warm I mean it was warm to the touch but it wasn't hot which um, is a good sign and um, you know the proofs of the pudding as they always say now uh, what I will do is I will drop a link down below where you can purchase this uh, on Amazon and uh and also i will you know come back in about six months and re-review the product to see how it held up over the long haul and testing I mean you know like lots of times things work good right out of the box but they don't hold up over time so that's what we will revisit this product down the road so uh, thanks everybody for you know stopping by and checking out this review and uh you know we'll have uh, more reviews and uh you know test flights uh for the uh, Mavic Air 2 and other drones. So um, I want to thank everybody uh, again, and uh, we will definitely see you on the next one.